Today, we're about to unravel the electrifying enigma of vertical axis wind turbines. So are these lesser known wonders the untapped solution to our global energy needs? Or are they just whispering sweet lies to woo investors into gambling on the newest green technology? In our thrilling quest to harness the boundless power of the wind, we stumble upon the mysterious world of vertical axis wind turbines, often called VOTs. On the other hand, the traditional wind turbines you're probably used to seeing are called horizontal axis wind turbines, or HOTs. They stand tall and proud facing the wind head on and mainly capture wind from one general direction, while VOTs generally march to their own rhythm, catching wind from all directions. You might be wondering though, can these bold newcomers outshine their three-bladed counterparts in wind farms worldwide? Well, it's a mixed bag, but one thing's for sure, VOTs have an advantageous charm that could revolutionize how we generate energy. So let's dive deeper and decode the secrets of VOTs. Two main designs are leading the pack, the Savonius and the Darius. However, it's worth noting there are numerous other types that we won't have time to cover in today's video. Savonius VOTs work like clever scoops, using drag to convert wind energy into mechanical rotation. They are the underdog converting around 15% of the wind's power into mechanical energy. Not too shabby, but not quite meeting the standards of traditional hot designs. On the other hand, the Darius VOTs are more efficient utilizing the potential of lift to spin blades that look like a ring spinning on a table. With D-shaped blades, they convert around 30 to 40% of the wind's power into mechanical energy. A definite boost in the VOT game. Now, here's the million dollar question. Are VOTs ready to take on the world of wind energy? Well, let's just say they've got some serious competition from HOTs, the horizontal ones. Those traditional horizontal champions have ruled the skies, converting around 40 to 60% of the wind's energy into mechanical energy. They've got the numbers, the supply chain, the economies of scale on their side, which makes them a popular choice. However, no matter which wind turbine design we're talking about, their effectiveness is primarily going to be dependent on where they're deployed. And for reference, the red and purple locations on this map are the places on Earth with most of the wind energy potential. But don't count VOTs out just yet. They've got their secret weapons and niche applications to flex. For starters, imagine VOTs gracing our stunning offshore wind farms. Unlike traditional wind turbines, a VOT design has the heavy components down low, allowing for easy and cost-effective maintenance. And they could be used as replacements for the hot giants that block the horizon. Usually energy efficiency should be the priority, but the shorter VOT designs could assist with maintaining the natural views of the ocean near tourist hotspots or nature preserves. Many people resist the installation of wind turbines because of the aesthetics of the giant towers. So alternatives like this could help everyone compromise. And here's another jaw-dropping twist. VOTs experience fewer wake effects. What's that, you may ask? Well, it's the turbulence caused by the first wind turbine in a row, messing with the performance of the turbines behind it. VOTs with all their direction capturing prowess can snuggle up close and increase energy generation in a given area. They could even be deployed at the base of the giant hot towers, ensuring that wind is captured from even more angles. So it could be a tag team made in heaven. Now you might wonder, what's the real deal with VOTs then? Are they just a niche novelty or do they have the potential to shine brighter in the energy world? Well, the reality is that vertical axis wind turbines are just a fraction of the traditional wind market. While VOTs excel in specific applications, they're still catching up with HOTs in large scale cost-effective energy production. Engineers are still tinkering with designs and it's possible that the efficiency of these devices could improve over time but many energy project developers still have some practical reasons for choosing horizontal axis wind turbines. But don't let that dampen your hopes on this alternative because VOTs have serious potential. Imagine them powering solar homes after sunset. Most homes begin using most of the energy when the sun goes down. So that added boost of energy from nocturnal winds could further reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. In bustling urban jungles, VOTs could snuggle up with skyscrapers, capturing those fierce winds at higher elevations like rooftop wind whispers. Even on remote mountaintops, VOTs could save the day bringing energy to off-grid settlements or ranger stations without costly infrastructure. 
And let's not forget about the shipping industry. Cargo ships are often subject to turbulent winds from all directions. So one day they might be able to offset their reliance on coal by cruising on Vought power instead. To sum it up, Vots are the underdogs fighting for their chance to catch the wind. While they might not be ruling the skies just yet, their allure and potential are undeniable. As technology advances and the world seeks more sustainable energy solutions, we may witness a grander role for these niche applications of VOTS in the future. So what's the verdict? Will VOTS rise to new heights and take over the energy world, or will HOTS continue to reign supreme? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for more renewable energy breakdowns and my thoughts on how we could become a type one civilization. So stay curious, stay passionate, and let's continue our quest for a greener future together. Until next time, try to resist the temptation to watch either of these videos right here. But if you have to, get ready for some more mind-blowing revelations.